here at Colney with Philip Heiser, who is Norwich City's new signing this January window. I'm also with Christoph Zimmermann, um, because much like a, a Leeds press conference with uh, Marcelo Bielsa, uh, we're going to try and get through uh, between English and German uh, today. Uh, Philip, first of all, welcome to Norwich City. How excited are you about this move? Oh, thank you very much. I was very excited. Um, I'm happy to be here and um, this is a nice step for me. It did, um, I believe Norwich were hoping and had spoken to you about uh, signing you as a free agent in the summer. So uh, is it a good thing for you that this has been moved forward to January and now you get this time to settle in? No, it's, it's okay for me and for my family. And um, yeah, I have time for for search a flat or a house um, and I can start from the summer perfect in the uh, pre-season. And, um, no, is everything fine? Um, now, you've known Christoph, well, it was nine years ago, I think, when you were both coming up through the Much and Gladbach ranks. Is it nice to have a familiar face here? <laughs> He's a good guy, uh, of course. Uh, no, I'm happy to see him and, um, yeah, I know uh, what he can on the pitch. <laughs> now, Christoph, um, Philip, how good is it to have him here? Was, you haven't seen him for a while. Yeah, it's true. Um, we haven't met for a while, it's true. And, um, I, I really think that uh, he can he can contribute uh, to our success because he's a he's a strong left foot, good set plays, and I think um, the way football is played in the championship will suit him, and that he'll quite quickly get used to it and then make an impact for us. Have you given uh, Philip any warnings over what championship football is like? Uh, no, we didn't come that far. First of all. Enjoy being here and don't scare him too much. <laughs> it's interesting, Philip. What what do you expect from the championship? I'm sure you'll have, have watched it, especially Norwich, given you knew this move might happen. Okay, so first of all, in pre-season, they also played Aston Villa uh, as a friendly. So he knows about how tough the game is and um, that especially the physical side of the game is more advanced here than in comparison to Germany. And also that um, he would say you can, from what he's, he's watched so far, because he's also seen some of the playoff games from last season. Obviously, that were the top teams in the championship, so the, the quality of the stand has been quite high there. But he would say you could definitely compare that to like lower mid-table or lower, lower category teams in the, in the first league of Germany. Um, so are you happy that you've got six months to adapt, to have six months of training with Daniel Farco and the, the team and that patience will be a good thing for you. Yes, I'm happy to, to learn the, the English football and um, every team has a, a own character so I can learn and um, I, can, can, um, I have time for, for, for learning this, this football. Uh, you will have spoken to Daniel Farker a lot, I'm, I'm sure. What have you made of him having spoken to him but also the job he has done here? Uh, first of all, he's here because of the philosophy and because of the way we are playing, because it's uh, Daniel Farker's style, the way he wants to, to play it. And he thinks that this would suit him and was obviously a big factor, a big, um, yeah, one of the main reasons why he wanted to come here and sign for Norwich. I was going to say, I think you've, I, I saw you've made maybe 15 appearances this season so far and, and quite a few assists. Uh, with a goal as well so um, given how Daniel plays his fullbacks they're really involved really important um, is that where you see you, yourself fitting in as a fullback he likes that uh, game of the fullbacks running up and down the line so he's looking forward to that so I think that's something we can definitely um, expect but also he knows that uh, for a fullback the most important thing is to defend as it's, is it, it is one of the defenders one of our four defenders um, yeah, and also in terms of his personal situation, he knows um, well, he, he, he's happy to be here at this stage now, so he can get some time, get used to it, but also he will not um, yeah, be concerned if, I don't know, after three, two or three weeks, he didn't, he didn't start each and every game, because he knows it's a step-by-step -step development also for him to get used to the championship, to get used to the way of playing, and yeah, just help whenever he can. Brilliant. Uh, one more for each of you. Um, Christoph, what's the one thing you want to show Philip about Norwich and his new surroundings? Is there one thing you want to introduce him to? Uh, nothing nothing in, in particular because he already knows the stadium, which is the most important part. But then, well, certainly that um, the, the city's got some nice spots, like, uh, like the cathedral, for example, like the city centre, and also about Norfolk in general, that's probably a bit underestimated from the Germans that you also have a beautiful coast here, which yeah, I didn't think of when I was coming here. Well, yeah, Tim Closer loves the coast, so that's yeah. true. And, and Philip, what's uh, the one thing that's exciting you most about this move? 
Ähm, was ich. Was du am aufregendsten quasi, am aufregendsten quasi findest über den Wechsel hier? Dass ich einfach ins Ausland gehe, dass okay. äh, alles neu für mich ist, meine Familie hier rüber kriegen muss und ähm, ja und dann den, den Fußball kennenzulernen einfach. Well, it's, it's, a massive, it's, it's a massive change and a chance for him first time playing abroad, a whole, like the situation for his whole family coming here to different surrounding and then obviously to England, being, being happy to be in the position. That, that he is right now so that he can yeah, play in, in the championship 